This is true that stock market is more like baseball than like tennis. Looking at the ball of prices going up and down, but really? Does it look like this anymore? After your first intervention everything has changed and uh, the prices have started bearing a striking resemblance SpaceX takeoff. So won't we gonna get back anytime soon? So today we'll discuss over a few examples of a possible market correction. Welcome to the another episode of Block Revision. And we are jumping as always to market movers section and going through the most important events of uh, this week uh, regarding uh, economy. Uh, and uh, there are some gauges that will be published um, yesterday. We've discussed already um, the new home sales month of a month gauge. Uh, and it turned out after this robust period of uh, second half of 2020 and first half of uh, 2021 uh, turned out to um, uh, new home sales turn out to um, eBay and finally it may uh, also add up to uh, slowing down a bit inflationary pressures so it might be um, good for the Fed and the whole economy so um, that's uh, that's it for Monday. As of yet, uh, as of uh, today, we are anticipating uh, CB consumer confidence uh, of July be published, uh, and uh, on Wednesday, obviously, we have very important even there is um, there is uh, from um, U.S. Fed interest rate decision uh, that is about to stay the same, so economists don't see this being a pivotal a meeting um, so right now we haven't seen any formal announcements uh, regarding uh, the possible possibility of scaling back bonds um, so right now uh, I think that's the most possible scenario of uh, this to happen the hiking interest rates may uh, be uh, in the first quarter of 2022 uh, before then, I don't find I don't find the high probability of this one to occur. Uh, but uh, you have to watch carefully what we'll be speaking about uh, this um, this event this week. Um, also, we have very important data from um, big tech companies. Uh, the first one of uh, the most important uh, ones were uh, Tesla. Tesla has published uh, the results for the second quarter and uh, has beaten uh, analysts' uh, expectations. And right now, it gives a boost to the next gains of S&P 500 index. Tesla also ri rising for the first time in uh, four sessions on the market and uh, right now extending uh, gains in post market. So um, that, that this one event uh, gives a um, positive view of what may bring another another um, tech giants such as uh, Apple uh, today, uh, Facebook or Amazon. So to speak, market analysts uh, predict uh, these heavyweight companies to bring good data to the market that will be bullish for the indexes. Um, moreover, the forecasts for big tech are set at the quite low levels that can easily be beaten that should drive prices higher. And let's get to the economy view section and uh, let's talk about the first news that is crushing the market that UK banks may be already prepared for negative rates in case recovery crumbles. Uh, Britain's biggest financial institutions are on track to meet the Bank of England's deadline to be ready for negative interest rates. So it means that members uh, are deploying some solutions to uh, get ready the treasury to work in a negative base rates for you as a customers it would uh, bring uh, the necessity to pay fees for depositing your money um, to bank uh, accounts and obviously it doesn't bring uh, a 
and an optimistic outlook of what financials uh, sector may look uh, this winter. Yeah, and nothing has been prejudged yet. Government is preparing for a Delta variant of virus uh, to occur and uh, also possibility of uh, worsening uh, labor data that may be reconsidered uh, for uh, the government. But uh, undoubtedly, if there is a winter lockdown rate hike uh, in 2022 uh, will be written off, maybe even to 2023. And right now let's jump to the poorish outcome of survey or, um, run by um, Bloomberg uh, in which we can find that only 6% of respondents, 6% uh, of uh, participants of uh, labor market expect US labor shortages to abate by the end of 2021 and half of the panelists also expect material costs to rise over the next three months and in many cases consumers will feel the direct impact of those increases they say so do you find that helicopter money will gap up the labor shortages it doesn't work like that uh, let's look at the skyrocketing prices of uh, homes and uh, right now we can find that uh, this stimulus this uh, quantitative easing is just speeding up those problems and speaking about surging prices of homes, um, it's worth mentioning also the serious case of uh, mortgage-backed securities buying by Fed, where central banks um, right now are holding uh, interest rates near zero and buying nearly $80 billion of treasuries and $40 billion of bucks of agency MBS each month. Um, uh, is that any chance of this market to find a way out of this uh, negative spiral of stimulus support is there any way it won't break down after and this uh, support will end economists expect it to begin scaling back purchases later this year but i guess after such support uh, it may mm, get much more longer even up to 2024 and so um, just because mortgage-backed securities purchases doesn't really work like mm, uh, like treasuries purchases um, in contrast to what uh, Jeremy Powell uh, says the only way to relieve the pressure is for home builders to just create more supply mm, uh, and uh, it's nothing it's really nothing that uh, what the Fed can do to a whole lot about right now, uh, some economists also says. So um, definitely the case is more complicated than it's on the surface. And as of the last uh, news of this section, I would like to cite the headline that Goldman expects US economic growth to slow sharply next year. And um, mm, uh, Goldman mm, clarifies its statement uh, by mm, this stance that um, it's unrealistic to expect virus fears uh, to instantly disappear entirely. So right now we can find that the economists cut the consumption growth forecast for the second half of this year, though it should maintain on a yearly basis at 6.6%. And right now let's smoothly move to the indexes outlook section and the most debated index right now is definitely Hang Seng Tech index uh, that is a index for the most significant um, tech giant uh, tech giants of uh, china uh, that is right now trading near its lowest relative to nasdaq 100 it's uh, because of um, chinese regulators that um, have um, made a clampdown on this sector and right now we can find that also cn50 is uh, trading at nearly 
the same um, level as it was uh, in the middle of uh, July of uh, previous year and uh, we can find that we have found a possible support on these levels so that may be a possible uh, opportunity to buy however it's still a falling knife so you have to be very careful if you uh, want to really um, invest um, um, moreover, uh, Bank of America strategists wrote in a note uh, that the regulatory overhang is unlikely to dissipate anytime soon, instead recommending investors rotate into tech firms outside of China. So you might expect the um, dead cat bounce from here and possible um, move um, lower um, even down um, this uh, 15 thousand level uh, otherwise just stay uh, away from this chart as it's quite uncertain right now of what direction CN50 might get now let's talk about crypto outlook and recently we've seen uh, a surge in price of Bitcoin up to 40k however it's not reflected on this hash rate chart right now as um, this spike hasn't coincided with um, um, uh, any price any, any terra hashes per second movement uh, right now so I don't find it it, it will be clear to make uh, the price of 40k right now sustainable and the possible uh, rebounds from um, uh, this area of uh, resistance may happen so uh, let's look at the in other factors that are determining right now uh, where the cryptocurrency is going and there are some uh, regulatory clouds above this uh, crypto sector. Uh, as of May, Fed Chair Powell met with Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong and uh, trying to um, discuss over the um, uh, legislation process. And uh, while it's unclear of uh, how and when Congress on the crypto industry will uh, occur uh, it's important to say that these agencies such as uh, fed and other regulatory organizations um, could have a major impact on how the industry operates so we need to take a notice on um, that and right now whether it's uh, jp morgan or other entities that are trying to um, uh, take advantage of the industry everything is uh, um, awaiting uh, regulatory framework such as uh, Jeremy Powell said uh, during the uh, latest uh, hearing that uh, he doesn't really find the stable coins uh, to be a significant part of the payments universe uh, but uh, he also uh, looking for the necessity of uh, implementing an appropriate um, regulatory framework uh, the same as JP Morgan that already has announced that giving retail uh, wealth clients access to crypto uh, funds and uh, despite uh, J uh, Jamie Damon had a complicated relationship with crypto since its creation uh, right now uh, he's changing his mind and finally allowing its clients uh, to gain more exposure to the space and is adopting blockchain solutions so it means like after this mm, regulatory frameworks to be frameworks to be established mm, there will be lots of opportunities uh, to investors um, to uh, find uh, this uh, sector uh, profitable profitable for them but right now uh, this uh, this issue um, is still clearing out and uh, it's not really uh, it's not really predictable of uh, how long will it happen so uh, also there is a proposal of ban on anonymous, anonymous cryptocurrency transactions uh, it's again the same narration um, the European Union yeah tries to um, find uh, the possible way to um, to ban it but uh, 
the cryptocurrency, uh, especially such as Monero or Zcash, are much more um, difficult to track even by FBI. Not saying about other entities uh, that are trying to stop it. Tether executive said to face criminal probe into bank fraud and um, the probe is reaching a tipping point as stablecoins attract intense scrutiny from leg regulators and uh, this is uh, right now the um, fierce battle between the government and cryptocurrencies that we are exper experiencing right now and the another um, topic that was also how to do last week binance stop stock token sales effective immediately and all the users that possess um uh, those uh, stock tokens may sell or hold them over the next 90 days uh, so um, there are lots of entities that are trying to discourage users from using cryptocurrencies there's also um, a, a very hot uh, right now uh, issue uh, with anonymous cryptocurrency transactions uh, so it doesn't mean they go on, go away for good uh, they are trying to rather go through this um, uh, regulatory process and uh, this uh, the compliance perspectives uh, and afterwards will return in um, maybe maybe other um, form and uh, probably uh, the regulators won't kill this sector but rather just give uh, another um, another guides of uh, what we can do with uh, these assets and right now let's jump to trade idea and my proposition for today is Vimeo Vimeo is a um, this new stock that uh, has uh, debuted uh, in May of 2021 and it has dumped after its uh, debut um, to the 40 bucks levels. After uh, jump, uh, after dumping so much it has tried to regain um, its uh, levels of the previous uh, highs of May but it uh, has stuck at the 52 um, uh, price level and right now it's trying to rebound from this trend line. Uh, this trend line right now has been mm, confirmed nearly five or six times so it's uh, definitely respected but um, the recent time as of yesterday we have uh, tried to jump over and start another mm, higher bounce but it definitely been mm, negated right now so it means the stock has no strength to move uh, upwards up to mm, this um, all-time highs um, set on mm, uh, 7th of July. Uh, Vimeo stock is a alternative so Vimeo company is a alternative to um, uh, YouTube and finds its a niche on this broadcasting uh, uh, video uh, sector uh, so right now the potential to grow for Vimeo is a good uh, respecting all of these uh, indicators where cash to debt and equity to asset is uh, good however debt to EBITDA and P ratio as well as forward P ratio are um, really mm, worrisome so uh, just after uh, growth appetite may uh, pass uh, that might be uh, the problem of uh, maintaining this uh, stock price for Vimeo uh, right now the growth environment uh, the, the environment for growth stocks still is maintain maintained um, uh, as well as uh, the stock analysis of uh, market analysts uh, uh, is at around 53 bucks so I would uh, be very uh, very cautious um, in regards of trading this stock however I just make an assumption uh, if uh, Vimeo just will get lower significantly lower this trend line uh, such as uh, getting to um, 43 uh, US bucks that would be a great opportunity to make a short bet um, another 
uh, trading um, day, for instance. So uh, the area of significance right now I uh, just um, find uh, here just uh, around 43 uh, US bucks I would uh, try to find an opportunity to uh, make a, mm, a short bet and with a target of 40 dollars so it's around mm, uh, right there nine percent uh, so uh, when I would like to make a, our trading board and put it on a chart there would be something like uh, this so the stop loss would be just above the trend line at above 44 mm, bucks and the target will be at 40 so the ratio of this trade would be at 2.8 that is not as uh, bad and one of the main reasons that has interested me on this chart was this uh, bull green candle that uh, has been reversed by uh, this uh, sell-off on the next day so uh, it turns out like this uh, bull a green candle turned out to be mm, uh, a trap for the bulls and uh, after it has been reversed there is high uh, possibility of the price going lower to rate uh, this uh, trade for yourself do your own research about the stock uh, there is no uh, right now very important events coming to uh, Vimeo as um, Alpha 6 says uh, it's just earnings uh, season uh, and earnings will be published um, on uh, 5th of August uh, but right now uh, I can find that uh, within three days uh, we would uh, maybe um, just uh, broke down this trend line and um, I would suggest that uh, this three uh, next days will be uh, very important and worth watching uh, when it comes to this stock uh, if we just get higher above this trend line I wouldn't bother uh, this um, trade Otherwise, if it significantly get lower, there will be a high chance to make, an, uh, make a um, trade uh, as uh, mentioned a few uh, moments ago. So that's it for uh, today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, remember to give a like if you have enjoyed and comment if you'd like. Thank you very much.